No, the question is, is are we doing another state next or going to the Bahamas? I think Bahamas next, probably. Nope. Change of plans. Our next trip was going to be to the Bahamas. And don't worry, we're going. I mean, it's right there. Us, paradise. Us, paradise. But for this trip, we decided to go to Wisconsin. Bahamas, <laughs> Wisconsin. But we have an excellent reason why. AJ's time off of work happens to coincide with the 2021 EAA Air Venture in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. We have never been, so this will be our first trip going all the way up there, and we're looking forward to it. And hopefully along the way, we'll pick up a couple new states. So over the next couple of weeks, hopefully you'll enjoy our next adventure. The plane is all packed for our trip to Wisconsin, but our first stop is Nashville, Tennessee. All right, everybody hear me? Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's roll. Got a long flight ahead of us. Two long flights. Two long flights. Stuart Ground, Aztec 2441 Mike is at the Stewart Jet Center looking for a VFR departure to the north with information Delta. Aztec 2441 Mike, Stuart Ground, runway 34, taxi via Alpha. 34, taxi via Alpha, forward Mike. All right, clear left, clear right. Stewart Tower, Aztec 2441 Mike, holding short runway 34. Aztec 2441 Mike, Stewart Tower, good morning. Proceed on course, runway 34, clear for takeoff. Proceed on course, runway 34, cleared for takeoff. Forward Mike, thanks. Here we go. Love you guys. Love, love you. All right, cages in the green, airspeed alive, times three. Tango off the truck. 60. North. Uh, Tap the brakes and gear up. Okay. Aztec 244 and Mike, frequency change approved. Good morning. Frequency change approved, forward Mike, thank you. Palm Beach approach, Aztec 2441 Mike with request. 2441 Mike, Palm Beach, request. Palm Beach, Aztec 2441 Mike, we are a VFR flight uh, to Tennessee, Kilo, Juliet, Whiskey, November. Uh, currently at 2,005 miles north of Stewart, uh, climbing 6,500. Type is a PA-27 Piper Aztec. Looking for flight following. Roger that. Stand by. Following Mike Squawk 2157. 2157, following Mike. November 4 on Mike, contact Miami Center 132.25. We'll see you. 132.25, following Mike. Thank you. Miami Center, Aztec 2441, Mike, at 5,800, climbing 6,500. 2441, Mike, Miami Center, good morning, for a beach, I'll trim it at 3003. 3003, forward, Mike. Aztec 2441, Mike, contact Orlando, approach 124.8. 124.8, forward, Mike. Orlando approach, Aztec 2441, Mike, 6,500. Aztec 2441, Mike, on approach, ultimate 3005. 3005, forward, Mike. Traffic, 1 o'clock, low, less than 1 mile. Should be right below us, 1,000 feet, right over the water. There they are. Look out your window, Shelby. Oh, yeah. Look out your window. Whoa! This airport right here next to us is part of the Kennedy Space Center. The long one? Uh-huh, right here outside of our wing. That's the NASA shuttle landing strip. It looked awfully large, yeah. so that's what I just asked. No rockets out there today. Air 2441 Mike, contact Daytona Approach 118.85, get in. Daytona Approach 118.85, forward Mike. Daytona Approach, Aztec 2441 Mike, 6500. Air 2441 Mike, altimeter 3002. 3002, forward Mike. There are a lot of people flying today. There is. It's Thursday. I know, thought it'd be pretty chill today. No, everyone's trying to get their flights in in the morning before the afternoon storms. Yeah. Are we going to have to avoid any weather? Potentially mid-Illinois is the storm that went through Oshkosh yesterday. 
Yep. It was pretty severe. That's the storm that went through Oshkosh yesterday, and it's going south. And east, after we get to Tennessee and have lunch, then we go north, and that's supposed to go away. But if it doesn't, we'll have to deviate. Aztec 2441 Mike, contact Jacksonville 12777. Jacksonville 12777, 41 Mike, thanks. Jack Center, Aztec 2441 Mike, 6500. 2441 Mike, Jack Sprint, good morning, Altimeter 3002. 3002, 41 Mike. Kids, 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 have an emergency. I need snacks right now. <laughs> AJ's had their radio headsets turned off, so they couldn't hear us talking. <laughs> All of a sudden. <laughs> you got goldfish back there? Do you want one of my tomatoes? Yes. Give me your favorite tomato. So for a picnic. They weren't 100% right, but... Yeah. Hey, I'll give you Jack, is, Jack grows all kinds of things. All right, Jack. Which one was your favorite tomato? Do you got a favorite kid? That's your favorite kid? All right. <laughs> Papa Jet 60 just going to maintain 5,000. You're going to give it to Daddy? Yeah. Right, I'm going Do you want a tomato? Yeah, I want that one. You're going to get the Maybe next, the second best one? Yeah. Guys, don't infer a one. Ready? Yeah. We can just go. Number two, Julie Delta, turn left heading 030, join the localizer. Left 030, number two, Julie Delta. Good tomatoes, Jack. Uh, Shelby, do you want one? Yeah. Yep, that's good, Jack. So they've got another rocket symbol next to Cecil, adjacent to Jacksonville. They've got a rocket and a glider. We'll have to look up later and see what that rocket's about. Yeah, I have no idea. There's an airplane. Oh, cool. That city and that bridge is Jacksonville, and that's the bridge we drive over when we go home from Baxley. Welcome to Georgia. Yeah. They were at Georgia. Yeah. yeah. We've already made it all the way through Florida. November 41 Mike, contact Jack Center, 127.57. 127.57, 41 Mike. Jacksonville Center, Aztec 2441 Mike, 6500. 441 Mike, Jacksonville Center, welcome now, Miles Cemetery 3004. 3004, thank you. We are over the Opie Finoki. Yo. Are we going to get to fly over mountains? We are about two hours away from landing in our eighth state of Tennessee. We chose to land at John C. Toon Airport. It's a general aviation airport, maybe about 15 minutes west of downtown Nashville. So our plan is to get gas, and I've packed a picnic, and hopefully, hopefully we will get one of their courtesy cars and drive about 10 minutes towards Nashville to their Centennial Park. And have a nice picnic, let the kids run around a little bit before we hop back in the plane for another three and a half hours up to Wisconsin. So, I chose Centennial Park because I'm excited about it. You're not as excited about it, but I'm excited I, about it. He, 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 he excited. Cool. I'm this excited. That's as excited as I get. That's true. But they have a replica of uh, the Parthenon in Nashville, Tennessee. That's neat in itself, but Jack and I, even though he can't hear me because we have the headphones off for him, we love Rick Rorday books, and his most well-known series is Percy Jackson. Percy Jackson goes to Nashville and goes to the Parthenon. Does he really? <laughs> he does. I didn't know he went to Nashville. He was looking for the little pearls that gets them to the underworld. It's in the movie, too. Yeah. I know you didn't read the book, but we watched the movie a long time ago. Yeah, I remember. And they have to go around the United States and collect... That was in Nashville, huh? I think they're... I don't know what they're called. Pearls is what I'm calling them. Yes, and they go to Nashville, and they fight monsters protecting it. <laughs> Replica of the Parthenon in Nashville. All right, guys, let's go get the pearl. And they have a, a giant, <laughs> like, size Athena inside of it. It's an art museum, is what they turned it into. Nashville built. It was supposed to be temporary, according to the internet. The Parthenon for their centennial. And the people loved it so much that they just. I need to keep it permanent, yeah, and so they made it into an art museum on the lower floor, and on the top floor is this giant statue of Athena. So, I don't know if we will have time, if we can make it, to go in and look at it. 
the Navy. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We still Delta have a long way to go to Wisconsin. To our very big surprise, we have not told the kids what we're doing tonight once we get to Wisconsin. But I'm excited. <laughs> Are you excited about that one? I'm very excited. That's cool. It's like this excited. Yeah. <laughs> Two planes converging over the top of Hazelhurst Airport. There. One's much taller. Oh, so it's all hazy. It's all hazy at Hazelhurst. It, it is hazy at Hazelhurst. <laughs> is that the Altamaha we're flying over now? Yeah. How do you say Altamaha? Altamaha. Altamaha? Altamaha. Sure. How would you say it? I thought it was Altamaha. Altamaha. Alt. Altamaha. <laughs> Altamaha. Altamaha, okay. Oh, it's Altamaha. <laughs> Altamaha. Unless that's just a Baxley way of I saying it. I have no it. idea. You got as good a chance as anybody. Number 2441 Mike, contact Atlanta Approach 124.2. 124.2 for one Mike. Atlanta Approach, Aztec 2441 Mike is 6,500. Aztec 2441 Mike, Atlanta Approach, good morning, make an alternative 3005. 3005, forward Mike. That was an awfully nice fight. Me or him? Both. Both. Good job, fellas. Look yep. at that nuclear plant making a cloud right there. Wow, <laughs> that's cool. Atlanta Approach, Aztec 2441 Mike, uh, one six miles to the south of Class Bravo, requesting clearance through Bravo. Aztec 2441 Mike, uh, roger that, sir. Unable your request, I'll have a fruit change for you here in just a moment. They can approve or deny that. Roger, 41 Mike. So here's the edge of Class Bravo. We're about one five miles south of Class Bravo right now. So anytime you're flying over Class Bravo, you have to get clearance. So I can't fly into that below 12,500 unless I have clearance. They're either gonna clear me or I'm going to climb over it tonight. We're forward my contact approach uh, 128.57. And make request of them, please. 12857, forward Mike. Atlanta approach, Aztec 2441 Mike at 8,500, requesting clearance through Bravo. Aztec 2441 Mike, roger. I can do that with a couple of different options. So we can go over the top of Atlanta, VFR at 5,500. Or I can widen you out to the west just a little bit, uh, maybe outside, let's say, 25 DME around Atlanta and get you going that way. It's your choice. You can stay at that altitude. We'll go a little further west, or we can drop down and go over the top of Hartsville. And then once we get uh, oh north of the stadium, we can turn back on course to tune. Yeah, I think I'll, uh, we'll just start a descent down to 5,500 and maintain course if that's approved. One mic. I'll have a few vectors for you, but that is fine. Present heading for now. VFRD sent 5,500 clear through the Bravo. Stand by for some further vectors. Forward Mike, expecting vector, vectors descend down to 5,500 clear to Bravo. Forward Mike. I see Atlanta yeah, Speedway. Sure. I was wondering what that was. That was some sort of racetrack. As to forward Mike, turn right heading 355. Heading 355, forward Mike. Yeah, we're going straight over the top of the airport. That's it, ahead of us, right? Yep. That's hard, so. Aztec 41 Mike, flighting 360. 360, Mike. I approach now, 119.8, 198. Have a great day, y'all. Did you hear that? We're back in Georgia. Have a great day, y'all. That's cool. Oh, I caught one taking off. Sweet, oh. keep rolling. Oh, that's keep cool. Keep rolling. That's cool. That took off. That's really cool. I caught one taking off. Aztec 4-1 Mike, contact Atlanta, departure now, 121.0. They'll have on course and hire for you in just a little bit. 121.0, we'll uh, expect on course and hire shortly. Appreciate your help. Planet departure, Aztec 2441 Mike at 5,500. 2441 Mike, Atlanta approach, Roger. Number 2441 Mike, do uh, you guys want 5,500? Do you guys have another request at altitude? Uh, request 6,500 and on course when able, for one Mike. Well, Mike, you're on course and climb your request at altitude, you're outside the class problem. Climbing 6,500, on course, for one Mike, thank you. All right, there's a hill, enjoy. <laughs> so we're actually going to sneak over one to one Alabama one and then go to Tennessee? One one yeah, point three. just the corner of Alabama. Saying hi. Number 41 Mike, contact Memphis Center 128.15. 128.15 for one Mike. Number 41 Mike, there's traffic at your 12 o'clock and 5 miles maneuvering type and altitude unknown. We are looking for traffic for one Mike. Right there.
Where is it? Straight ahead. Yeah, right, I can see it. right in front of Myra. Memphis Center, Aztec 2441 Mike at 6,500 with traffic in sight. All right, welcome to Tennessee. Woo we made it to Tennessee. We're in Tennessee now. Welcome to Tennessee. Yeah. We're in Tennessee. Yeah. November 2441 Mike, contact Nashville 118.4. Nashville 118.4, 41 Mike. Nashville Approach, Aztec 2441 Mike at 6,500. Aztec 2441 Mike, Nashville Approach, good afternoon, altimeter 3007 and uh, maintain VFR. Maintain VFR, 41 Mike. Nashville Approach, Aztec 2441 Mike with John Tune in sight. I'd like to request uh, cancellation of flight following. Number 2441 Mike, Roger. Uh, traffic is coming off soon in the citation. Do you see caution there southbound? Better services, terminal Scott 1200, freight change for 1200, frequency change approved. For one mic, we'll uh, be looking for traffic. In March 2020, John C. Toon, airport got hit by a tornado. Yeah, Before, they never had a control tower. The lady at the FBO said that they decided to go ahead and build a control tower while they're rebuilding. So I think they're real excited about it. I don't think they are going to open it up until next week, though. So we just missed it. John Toon, traffic Aztec 2441 mic is. Uh, Four miles to the south, entering a crosswind right for runway 20. John Toon. John Toon, Aztec 2441Y. Mike is uh, midfield, right downwind, runway 20. John Toon. John Toon, Aztec 2441 Mike on uh, base, right base, runway 20. John Toon, Aztec 2441 Mike on final runway 20. Excellent. You did so good. John Toon, Aztec 2441 Mike, clear runway 20. They're cleaning the window in the control tower. Yeah, I know. They're getting ready for their grand opening. Well, guys, we've made it to Tennessee. Yeah. Woo! Well, I'm going to try to run in and snag a courtesy car while you do this, okay? Okay. Hopefully we can get one because I want to go to the Parthenon. All right, wish me luck. We got a crew car. Woo! Woo. Is it better in the shade? Yeah. It's really hot here. What did you say it was? 100 degrees? That's what it felt like when you guys left me out to die. <laughs> you mean when I took the children to use the restroom and asked for a <laughs> courtesy car? Left me out to die. Otherwise good. Okay. <laughs> well, we're eating our lunch in the shade of the fake Parthenon. <laughs> it's so big, I have to back up. Greek mythology, Athena is the goddess of wisdom, useful art, and the protector of cities. Her title, Athena Parthenos, refers to her as the maiden goddess. The name Parthenon is derived from this, and in English means, the house of the maiden. The building and statue in Nashville are full-scale replicas of the originals in Athens. Athena stands at 42 feet tall. Athena's shield is 15 feet in diameter, and in the center might be a figure you would recognize, Medusa. It was said that Athena helped Perseus slay Medusa, and Perseus offered Medusa's head to Athena out of gratitude, which she then placed on her shield. Athena holds a six-foot statue of Nike, the goddess of victory, in her right hand. A serpent, said to represent the people of Athens, is protected by her shield. What is it? I don't know what. Oh, I think it's a naval air station. Forget it. Found, it's identified as a That would be your only reason. Fly in there. Take a video of him. Videoing him.
title the video. Flashing. On the way to Nashville, flash and dip. Griffin 1 5, turn left heading 3. Yeah, best video ever. Approach 127.0. You would get a lot of views. Well, Macapoo, cross Acapoo at 3,000. Third RNAV, runway 1 5. They said poo. <laughs> 